everyone welcome back to the phd scholar series of the humans in education project in this series we are talking with the phd research fellows from various prestigious institutes across the world while listening to their journey the aim of this project is to provide guidance and opportunities for the scholarships in those countries or in those research fields now let me introduce our guest for today he is sudhanwa chandrashekhara from india he is doing his phd at the university of ljubljana slovenia and his phd topic is geometrically and materially non linear beam dynamics with strain localization Sudanwa is awarded with this very prestigious Marie Curie fellowships on the thread project. I think for many this thread project is a new term. So let me brief you about it. Thread is a project by European Union and it consists of universities, research in institutes and industries. The aim of this project is to bring together young mechanical engineers and mathematicians to address the fundamental modeling problem they are developing mechanical models and numerical methods to design highly flexible slender structures currently a group of 14 early stage researchers is involved in this project i believe that the best part of this project is that the researchers are benefited from the 12 industrial partners so this all was about the thread project and now let's listen to our guest of today sudanwa in this conversation sudanwa mainly talked about his research field than his research group other research groups which are working in the similar research field than about the mary curie fellowship and how he was selected for this scholarship so now let's listen to sudanwa oh hello sundavna uh, welcome to this session and thank you very much for accept, accepting my invitation for this mm -hmm. one first is can you please tell me a bit more about you sure so i'm sudanwa and uh, i work here at the university of ljubljana uh, i'm a part of the european project thread and uh, it's uh, 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 we are 14 researchers working in this project uh, uh, we mostly focus on highly flexible slender structures each of us are granted with mary curie fellowship and uh, we, we here at the university of ljubljana mainly focus on uh, damage mechanics the chair of applied mechanics here we mostly focus on the damage mechanics part of it and uh, we consider flexible structures which undergo large rotations large displacements together with that the focus is to model something with non linear material constitutive loss to undergo some damages so something like softening uh, which is uh, also something like localized softening which is strain localization damage uh, localized into a particular narrow regime so yeah we focus on beams and frames and uh, yeah Fourteen of us are working in different partner institutes. Few in Norway, Sweden, uh, in uh, Belgium, in France, Germany, Croatia, Austria, Spain, and uh, Slovenia. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how did you land up in this research area? How did you decide that you want to uh, pursue for this research field? Yeah, well, I did my masters in computational science and engineering uh, from University of Rostock, Germany, and uh, I had some background in computational mechanics. And uh, but the masters mainly focused on computational fluid dynamics. But uh, it's it's when I started my individual research project and my master thesis that's when the focus started leaning. I started leaning towards finite element modeling, developing open source software, developing our own codes. uh using python matlab and programming expertise i started developing some programming expertise with c++ and other languages mm -hmm. and the focus was still on something where we 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 even developed something called simulation of wind energy converters i mean i was a part of the group there in chair of wind energy technology so i had some background with beam modeling Uh, but i didn't enter into the non linear regimes i mostly worked on linear beam modeling bernoulli tomoshenko beam models evaluating eigen frequencies app applying that for uh modeling the wind turbine blades or towers and uh, getting the eigen modes 
and something like that so my master thesis completely was focusing towards that and uh, then i took a bit of a break and then came back to iit delhi uh, i worked a bit on again on b models again but somehow it was it was directed towards meta materials <laughs> and uh, after that experience i shifted my focus to again aerodynamics something on high speed aerodynamics but part of my mind was still there that i should still work on mechanics uh, solid mechanics especially uh, but i was mostly interested in mathematical modeling applied to solid mechanics so this project somehow came out in november it was advertised in november 2019 and fortunately it was possible for us to apply for five positions within the project so out of 14 positions we, were, we it was possible for us to apply for five positions but the preliminary clause in the mary curie fellowship is that there is something called mobility rule okay uh, according to that clause you shouldn't have resided in the location where you have uh, i mean uh, you you cannot be employed in the location where you were previously residing for more than 3 years okay since i had so since i had resided in germany i was not able to apply for any positions in germany within the mary curie fellowship so fortunately i was up, able to apply for other four positions and all the other four professors actually said that your background fits well into the project we are interested in taking you in one of the project at least but we don't know where to take you okay. so it's it's for you to decide so since they were very encouraging and they are like gods in these areas i i call them gods in these areas because they have really done a lot of work in these areas and uh, yeah it was really interesting for me when i joined and it still is i still come across new aspects every day and yeah it's it's uh, that's how i found the project okay that's great interesting one so you are a mary curie fellow so can you tell what is the process or to apply for this particular fellowship usually in the cordis database uh, they frequently announce uh, phd calls uh, the european projects which are coming under mary curie fellowship uh, there are many projects and uh, you don't have to write the proposals or anything those are basically predefined projects you uh, the i mean the project outlines are basically predefined so you have the end goal set so you know what you're going to do at the end you know what supposed to be achieved by the end so only thing is unknown is that what track you are to going to take how you are going to begin how what track you are going to take so there are many projects that are announced regularly in this uh, especially after the horizon 2020 calls there has been many investments by the eu uh, for uh, in in different research areas again uh, i've heard about uh, i have heard that at least in the area of mechanics each um each year at least uh, two calls are at least being funded and uh, i mean two projects are at least being funded and uh, yeah uh, that's how i came across this mary curie fellowship and uh, yeah it, it, one thing is that one thing as an advantage is that you know the end goal and yes. according to what fits into your area you can easily find something yeah so the good thing is that project is already defined proposal is already there you don't need to do anything right uh well it depends my supervisor is like my supervisor is quite open in those matters okay. he said i don't hold up fortune cookie so i don't know what whether it's going to work or not so he okay. keeps he kept the title very vague so uh we only define the problem the problem statement so we know the problem we are trying different ways of finding solution to it so it is not even it was not even known to us whether to work on a dynamic model or a quasi static models so something like that i mean you it end goal i mean through the title that is set but the proposal set, i mean you don't know the uh, i mean the entirety in the proposal is not known 
but uh, there are some planned deliverables in terms of each year we promise during the annual meeting that what could be done in the next year and we do we do achieve some of the things and then we give it as a deliverables to the in terms of reports or in terms of code demonstrators open source codes etc etc okay. i mean apart from the papers and all these are the additional things that we do and uh, when we apply for this fellowship which documents we need uh yeah the 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 thing here is it depends on hosting country again okay so if it were to be germany then it's mostly the employment contract and a valid passport and all the personal documents your official identity mm. documents your master's degree certificate your master's transcript uh the, if if it were if, if it has not been done in india uh, sorry in in the hosting country then they need a conversion of grades okay so usually they do it on their own usually uh, you don't have to do it for your by yourself most okay. of the time they do it on your own and it depends on the hosting country again if it were to be france it's completely different but for slovenia it the uh, it took some time for me to process my visa okay. uh since it was a covid time again uh, the the time of joining was really uh, it was quite difficult for me to process all the documents because the embassy was closed in india so my employer applied on my behalf here for the work permit Mm. he processed everything uh, one thing they additionally needed was that uh, they needed uh, uh, this apostol thing uh, where you are supposed to send your documents to the ministry of external affairs yes. and they put a, a apostol according to the hague convention that considering that this original document is actually original and then those documents were supposed to be sent so this was an additional thing for slovenia but most of the time for austria or for germany or even for france i don't think this additional thing is necessary but um, yeah that's it apart, apart from you get the employment contract from your employer anyway so apart from the personal documents the the degree certificate and all the qualific the documents yeah. that shows the qualification that's all you need yeah so in case of slovenia is it uh, okay to documents to be in english or you need to convert in some local language some of the uh, some of the documents needs to be translated to slovenian okay uh, there are some official translators in india as well one i personally lo- know is lingvidor Okay. Lingvidor is also there in Germany. It's being, it's actually being run by an Indian guy. I know him personally. He did his masters, masters and PhD in University of Rostock while I was doing my masters. Uh, and he he did his PhD in linguistics. Okay. And he has a lot. Uh, he he open he started his own company called Lingvidor. It's situated in Bangalore, Delhi, in Berlin, some parts of Germany. and he helped me uh, a lot in getting translate uh, getting the documents translated quickly and easily okay that's good yeah and what's the criteria that might help to select uh, in merit curie fellowship what do you think what's the criteria one is that academic excellence really is one thing that they consider the academic grades um, apart from the academic grades experience really does matter okay uh the other thing is it only depends on the professor again it has nothing to do it's only that the funding is from the merit curie uh, i mean it's from the european uh, eu funding it's a merit curie fellowship but ultimately it again depends on the professor so if 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 he finds you that you are really well qualified it's more than enough for them um apart from these if any additional research experience are there it's it really matters a lot uh, some interesting uh, i mean for me i was basically diversifying the area i was hopping from one thing to another okay. so despite that he found that i'm i was really interested in doing some mathematical modeling so yeah i i think in a way experience does matter a lot uh apart from the academic grades some research work experience apart from doing just the master thesis matters a lot 
uh, if if you have happened to write an article or a, attend a conference or all these things it it adds up towards you i mean it it adds up as an advantage and they lean towards the candidate if they have something like this yeah. okay so sundana uh, a part of mary curie fellowship do you know any other scholarship that uh, is helpful to apply for the phd in slovenia uh in slovenia there is one other national funded projects i mean apart, the uh, national funding jaise uh, just like uh, the dfg funded projects in germany we have something called arrs so mm-hmm. that's the slovenian research agency so they host uh, they they fund phd students as well okay. apart from that uh, the university doesn't uh, fund okay. the students so it's either arrs or else uh, the other way is the industrial uh, partner i mean the industry hosts the phd student i mean uh, the then the thing is they have less of uh burden from the university okay. they have to do more uh, with the industrial partner location itself one such thing in my area that i know is zag zag they do a lot on uh, they they work a lot on construction industry mm. and uh, especially with, with the fire safety analysis they are, they are into fire safety and uh, they are uh, EU has some standardized regulations for the fire safety as well uh, just like the construction EU code euro codes just like that there are some euro codes for the fire safety as well and uh, they have been doing a lot of research in this area and uh, the other one is ICMART ICMART is a building material research institute mm-hmm. so they work a lot on this uh, again construction aspects as well um, uh and the other is the joseph stephen institute okay uh joseph stephen institute is similar to fraunhofer and cnrs it's a public funded re- research institute in slovenia and uh, they host a lot of phd students as well and uh, jsi have their own uh, uh school for uh, phd students so they don't get offered degree from the university of ljubljana but from the jsi Uh, oh. themselves so that's also a very good institute they they as far as i know th- i i know a few people from the natural sciences area from chemistry and physics they they are working a lot there uh, i i'm i've not come across much of engineers there okay okay right so can you tell me a bit more about your research group uh the research group that i that i work here is with chair of applied mechanics uh in the faculty of civil and Mecha- faculty of civil and geodetic engineering and uh, here it's a very it's it's a small research group uh, we are about 15 people at the most mm mm-hmm. and uh, the uh, my professor personally he has a background in mathematics he did all his uh, uh, his masters and his uh his phd research was in uh, uh, in beam modeling okay. and uh, he has a really good background in applied mathematics uh the other people they have a background in civil engineering they mostly work with fire safety analysis um earthquake engineering um and a few on uh, timber structures okay uh, some material modeling as well um something on uh, contact modeling uh, evaluate uh, so something on computational models for contact constitutive laws something with uh, glued or you know uh, temporarily glued structures uh, especially with the timber um, i know a few people working on that and some some of them working on uh, uh bridges and uh, some life cycle assessment of bridges mm, that to with real time life cycle assessment something on real time monitoring um yeah i know personally two of the research, two of the professors and uh, assistant professors who work exactly in the area of mine in yeah. in mechanics uh yeah they, these are uh, these are the people who are working in our group yeah 
okay and uh, a part of your research group which are the another groups which are working in the same field in which you are working uh, the other ones uh, are the there is a chair for earthquake engineering as well uh, there there are a few researchers who work on core finite element modeling mm -hmm. uh, and development as well Mm, one other professor whom I know personally is Jose Corrales, and uh, he's a he's a very big guy. I mean, he he did his PhD with Peter Riggers, if I'm not wrong, and uh, in Leibniz University Hanover, I guess. And uh, he has developed his own software called AceFan, which is widely used in in our field in in mechanics. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's it's a very very well built software and few of the industries in Slovenia and, and uh, something like C3M they use it as well. It's being it's still being continuously being developed furthermore. But uh, this is this is one research group that I know. Who, uh, this is one professor and one research group that I know who is really good uh, in. Uh, have invested a lot in the area of mechanics. Yeah. Okay. So what was your first cultural shock when you moved abroad? You did your master's from Germany. So maybe... Yeah. Yeah. It time. was easy for me to get acquainted with the culture here. So it was not really difficult. Uh, the, the huge difference, the huge difference between the, uh, the living in Germany and living in Slovenia is in Slovenia, people are really sweet. Okay. They are very accommodating. They help. They help a lot. I mean, at least in in, in my research group and uh, especially the neighbors as well. I mean, uh, I've never come come across somebody who is uh, who is uh, denying to you know help us. And they speak really very good English. So the language barrier is not there as, as the much as it is. Thing. Yeah, as much as it is in, in uh, other countries, it's, it's it's not there much. And uh, yeah, the, the place is really nice. It's really beautiful. Uh, Ljubljana is especially, Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia. And still, it's not chaotic as much as other capital cities like yes. Berlin or Paris. It's the traffic, the, 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 the amount of the crowd. You don't find so much of like that, something like that in Southern Europe, especially when you cross Austria, uh, Vienna and Ljubljana and some pa some parts like these, it's less crowded and it's really beautiful city. It's within a 60 kilometer of radius, you'll find everything. The beach, the mountains. Wow. Uh, you, it's covered it, It's covered, covered with Julian Alps and it's, uh, the place is beautiful. The people are really nice. Um, I didn't find any cultural shock as such. The only... I, I found them really very accommodating people. Then. Okay. Very understanding. Yeah. Okay. Um, they wouldn't, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I got uh, acquainted to people here very easily. I didn't have to try much. And I, it was really easy for me to talk to people here. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. But very easily acquainted with the culture. Okay. And... Yes. How's your experience uh, to live in uh, Slovenia as a foreigner? I think it is covered, right? You already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah. I did cover the answer for this already, and uh, yeah, I mean the as such, it's it's living here has even in terms of food or any amenities, I, I don't find it difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we Indians like is the Indian food, where I mean we try to at least cook or even find something in the restaurants and one thing is that in Germany I had to make my own paneer I don't have to make them anymore <laughs> okay. I get paneer readily available in supermarkets wow <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing and uh, yeah as such in terms of even food or any uh, I, I, I didn't find much of difficulties uh, mm -hmm. the living here has been really good the stay is good it's not really very expensive city. It's it's uh, even even if I would have had a lower salary with other fellowship, I could have easily managed and saved up a lot. So it's it's not really very expensive city. Uh, I get to travel a lot. Uh, 
since being the part of the project and apart from that as well i get to travel a lot it's uh, everything is really close by i i if i drive for 2 hours i i can go to venice i can go to austria i can go to hungary mm. or even even uh, italy i mean uh, it's it's uh, we share borders with many countries again yeah. i get i can go to croatian coast so yeah, yeah. one thing we <laughs> here right, right? enjoy one thing we here enjoy is the summer in croatian coast everybody goes there so it's everything is nearby so and the the seasons are pleasant the climate is really pleasant it doesn't get too hot it doesn't get too cold mm. so i i'm living in a climatically yeah, very pleasant <laughs> Okay thank you so much Sundarana for your time and sharing this important and interesting information with the students thank you so much no problem one more thing rupali uh, there is an open position in in our research group oh. i had posted it on linkedin oh. uh, if you happen to come across any i have posted two positions in linkedin uh, advertise jo bhi tha maine post kiya tha repost kiya tha if you come across anybody who has the background in mechanics mm-hmm. computational mechanics mechanical engineering okay uh, was better to have some background in computational methods it's a good thing All because right. ultimately that's what they are going to do in the phd in the in our project yeah. thread ke project group mein bhi ek position open hai in belgium okay okay so at and uh, uh, of course half of the project is done there is 19 months of funding available okay. the rest of the funds will be taken care of by front of for itwm in kaiserslautern yes. so so that will be i mean in terms of funding it's not nothing to be worried about but if you happen to come across anybody who is really yes. well qualified yeah. please yeah. do let them know they can contact me about this there are pretty much really good amount of people in the project they can contact anybody in the project so so I yes i will uh, share across the group yeah yeah sure 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 Thank i'll you. i'll i'll forward it to you through the message once more and you can okay. you can just spread it around yeah. uh, if you come across anybody it could be really great okay